Hey guys, it's me. It is Nick the Booksmith. And today I thought I would um, have a fun little video for everybody. And um, so this is what I did. Um, I figured there is going to be times in your life where you do not have time to make a journal. You don't have time to make a book for somebody. Just think somebody's going off to college or maybe somebody's getting married or having a baby or something like that. And you're like, but you've got to go to the shower or you've got to go to the going away party like tomorrow. You don't have time to make a whole book. Well, this morning I went just to Walmart and you can get these at Target or uh, even the Dollar Tree. Um, for those of you um, across the pond, I'm not really sure what you guys have, but this is like just a composition notebook. So I'm sure um, I'm sure you have something like this. It's just a it's just a regular just a regular notebook. And then I also picked up a little journal. Um, it has um, here we go. Take that off. It has just like a, a vinyl, a brown vinyl cover. I just went as plain as possible. But this one was three bucks and change about, and this was, I think, 88 cents. So um, let's see what we can do with these. I've collected some, some ephemera pieces here, um, a page from uh, one of my, the Broken China kit. I just grabbed one of those pages. And let's see what we can do with these two um, store-bought journals books, notebooks, and see if we can make them look like something that you would want to give somebody. <laughs> okay, I will be right back with everything kind of put together and I'll go get my glue. Okay, so I cut this one down because I thought it was a little bit too big for what I wanted. You can certainly use it full size, but um, I also got this at Walmart. So it's like this is like your this is your Walmart challenge. <laughs> oh, your overnight journal Walmart challenge. So I got this pad called Vintage Treasures also at Wally World and it had some kind of some super cool um prints in here on these pages. So I just grabbed this and I thought, you know what? It's 5 bucks, which is super cheap and there are 50 sheets. So that's a lot. <laughs> there's 25 designs and there's two of each. So you could do a lot with this and use it in your other projects too. So I just grabbed that and I cut a couple of pages down for um, the fronts. So I've got this one that I can cut down here or I can put this one on the front. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too horribly much. So um, I couldn't find any white composition notebooks, which would have been optimum, but you know, that didn't happen. So I could put these on the front. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Let me grab my glue. We'll just, we'll just start slapping stuff on and see what happens. I kinda like the one with the pen and um, ink in it for the front. So let's do that real quick. And I'll try. To, I think it would be important just to make sure that the edges are are coated really, really well. Okay, that was exciting. Okay, so I cut it so that it wouldn't overlap this black um, spine. So we're just going to kind of plop it on here, and I could not cut this in my paper cutter, like my ch -ch thingy, the Fiskars one. I had to use a craft knife and um, a metal ruler because it was just too thick to go through the, um, through the paper cutter. I could have done a better job. Huh. What else is new? But um, there, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? So that makes that side look much better. And then on the back, let's put this one on the back. Okay. But what's nice about these composition notebooks, just a spot. Okay. What's nice about these composition notebooks is that they're super cheap, <laughs> like super duper cheap. And um, 
You can find them almost anywhere. See, I'll have to trim this side down. I It beveled. When I cut it, I think my knife was um, tilted. So I'm, I will bevel this. I will cut from this side to match the other side. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So what's nice about the front cover is, is that you can go ahead and put like a little label here with somebody's name. You could make a set of these for somebody that's going away on, um, on a trip or maybe they're moving away, maybe they're having a baby, all kinds of different things. Maybe somebody's planning a wedding and they need like something to jot it down in. Just different things that you could, you could make up a whole bunch of these and then have them ready to um, throw in a, in a gift bag. But let's take care of this inside because yuck, right? So where is my, my ruler? So we need something that's going to be about six inches by eight and a quarter. And let's pick out something pretty out of this book that could go, see that's pretty. I like that. Let's just, let's just do this because it kind of looks like a little travel type journal. And I hate this cutter. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I think the guides are crooked or something. It just kind of makes me mad. <laughs> um, I just, I don't, I don't like it. I think I got a defective one for sure. So what did I say? Six. So this should be 12 inches, right? I mean, we're hoping. So let's go down the middle here. Six. And then we wanted eight and a quarter. So this side's kind of boring, but this side has some more interest to it. So let's do, let's cut off the less interesting side. There we go. So that'll be from one side. And then this, you know, yeah, it should be six. It's got, these papers have the little um, perforated top that you gotta cut off, so. And then let's get eight and a quarter off the bottom of this one as well. I can hear you all yelling at me, no, cut the other side. Really? I heard you, I heard you, I heard that. I heard you screaming at me. Okay, I'll do eight and a quarter and we'll kind of, we'll cut off this side because it's, it's less interesting and we'll put away this, this horrible crooked Fiskars thing. It's horrible. It's just horrible. Did I say it was horrible? Awful. So then these will fit, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, so these will fit right inside here. So how wonderful is that? So I will glue these in. And you're like, get on with it, get on with it. Okay, I try to be fast, I try to be fast. So let's plop this puppy right here on the inside because nobody wants to see the inside of that. And that actually cut pretty darn straight. After I, you know, threw shade on the Fiskars trimmer, then it, then it cuts straighter, you know. It's my life. And then let's get um, the back side. See how crooked I was? Look at that. I'll fix that. I'll fix that before I give this to somebody. <laughs> or maybe I'll just use it for myself and I will never, ever, ever fix it. Or maybe I'll fast forward through that part and it'll be blah, 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 as I'm talking. <laughs> okay, let's put this right in here. And now you have a much better looking notebook as opposed to those composition ones. Now you've got something that's kind of super cute. And what I'm thinking is, is you could take some um, some other paper. This is just scraps from a from a Tim Holtz pad that I have, and you can glue these in on the front. Here's another one. Isn't that pretty? This is a Graphic 45. I think it's um, their Masquerade. Anyway, one of their lines. <laughs> one of their lines. See how intelligent I sound? Um, let me move this thing. This thing's janky. So you can make little pockets on the inside on, on both the front and the back. Wouldn't that be great? 
You could even do it this dehoozies. So let's do this dehoozies. I need a little, I need a little thing. Hold on, I'll go get that. I'm back. Did you miss me? So let's take this one and I kind of center it. I just eyeball it. And you could actually sew on these if you wanted to, if you wanted to sew around this before you glue it in. Guys, you go for it, just, just do it. This is like, I need to get another one of these. I've really jacked this up. Um, Cause I glue on it and everything and then it gets all, all icky. But definitely, at least I would, I would ink around stuff because um, if it's going to be kind of a vintagey look, you want to ink around stuff because it gives it that that dimension um, around the edges, as opposed to um, leaving it not dimension dimensionized. Oh, let's make new words. <laughs> ah, okay, so a nice big pocket can go right here grabbing the glue again and of course I'm just using the Fabra Fix that I always use I just grab it because it's just fast grab um, I don't know I just like it and it does great for fabric too so let's put that right there so that whoever gets your journal has a little place to put notes and you could put some notes in there for them. You could put some little blank notes once this is dry, of course, or they'll stick. <laughs> um, so there's that. And let's do a little bit of embellishing. So let's put another pocket in, in the back. Let me trim this. Let me trim this. You know what I might end up doing instead of trimming this? You know what I'll do, guys? I will cut another piece of paper and just go over this and make sure it's all the way to the edge. Because um, I think maybe I'm miscalculated. <laughs> me? Me? Miscalculate? Oh, say it isn't so. Okay, which way does this go? So I got my little corner punchy, corner punchy thing, and that can go right there after you've, um, you know done your thing, done your inking thing. So there's that. And you can't really see the ink on these, can you? Oh, well, color me wrong. <laughs> um, I think it'd be really cool if you, um, if you did sew around these, but that's just me and my, you know, weirdness talking because I sew everything. Um, but you don't, you don't, oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm like holding this up against my chest and, and putting some glue on it so that, you know, so that it's even more interesting as I put on things, I put glue on things and then you just don't even see it, so. So let's pop this puppy right here. And then there is a little pocket for the back of the journal. And then we can go on to kind of embellish things. So I've collected, I've collected some um, ephemera, uh, just some stuff that I personally have on saved on my computer, and then in, and in some of my digital kits. And then for those of you that are um, that are booksmithers and you've joined the Facebook group, in the files section on the left hand side of the Facebook group page. Um, Click on the files tab and there are several ladies like Rebecca and Ella that have put in, um, scanned in their own ephemera. Is that not the cutest thing ever? So I actually printed out a ton of these photographs that these are Rebecca's. Thank you, Rebecca. It was so very generous of you to scan these in and share them with the booksmithers. That was just amazing. I love this one, the little girl in the window. It's 1955 and it says me. And so I'm like, that's about how old my mom was in 1955. So how cute are these, right? So I just printed these out. She scanned them in in a very high resolution. I got this one from, um, I think the old design shop online. And then these are part of my um, reminisce kit. So what we can do to kind of make things look a little bit more interesting in here is we can take some of this ephemera and start adding um, 
like layers onto things. So let's take this lovely gentleman here just for um, kicks. Kicks! And we're going to um, ink around the edge just a little bit, just a teeny tiny little bit, just to, just to make sure that he stands out well in his um, little uniform here. And what I am going to do is I am going to kind of pop that, I think, well, it kind of covers my my cutout I just made. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't care. So let's go ahead and glue this puppet down. Okay, I don't want to, I'm going to leave it free up here so it still opens like a pocket. So I'm going to glue down here and kind of up the side a little bit. So, um, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere unless you yank on it. Just don't be yanking on it. Okay. So I'm just gonna kinda skew this over here on the side, and then it's still open in the back like a pocket. Oh, how cute is that? How cute. And then we have some other things that we can add on. Here is a little um, postcard. Here is a little ticket. Ooh, I like the ticket. Let's do the ticket. So these raffle tickets, guys, I got these at um, a whole stinking roll of them at the dollar store and not the Dollar Tree. I'm talking about the one that everything is a dollar <laughs> and I have like, you know, 200 of these coupons and then I just tea dyed them. And they look like nice old coupons, little tickets. So um, we'll layer that right there. Isn't that cute? So cute, so cute. So maybe that's enough for the inside front cover. Um, you want to be able to close this puppy. <laughs> and maybe, well we could, we could put a stamp. We, put, we could put a little stamp. Is this video going to be forever long? I'll have to edit this down if it's like stupid. Okay, let's put some stamps down here. And I'm working upside down, so I apologize if, if, if everything looks like a little off kilter. It's because it is. Welcome to my world, my off kilter world. So I'm just gonna put a couple of stamps here on the side and give that little pocket just some interest. And this one kind of sticks up a little bit and that's okay because I kind of like that. And then you can put notes in the back or you can take, this is, um, I think this is part of the Tim Holtz one of his things. You could just put some little little things right in here to look all cute so that when whoever gets this beautiful journal opens it up, they've got some stuff to look at. And then they can write. And then on the back, we've got this pocket. Whatever are we going to do? Oh no, we need an up and down picture. We need like an up, see, this is an up and down picture. Look how cute she is. It's like, are you kidding me? Little diva, little 1955 diva. I like her, I don't even know her and I like her. I bet she was a lot of fun to be around. I bet she was always up for, hey, let's run and go do this. And she's like, yeah. So oh, I just launched my ink lid. So I inked around that just a, a wee bit and we will, so kind of fit it over the edge and make sure that you're not gonna put glue where it would stick down and I think we're okay, I think we're okay. You can always trim up the picture so that um, the, like the white border is gone because you don't have to have that. I just like the way it looks because that's the way the, the Rebecca scanned it in. Um, it, these were real pictures, so that it's authentic to, you know, this was the 1950s and so it was authentic to that time period. So let's kind of just pop that girl right there. There she is. And then um, I have this little ticket here, and we are going to do something. We're gonna do something. We're gonna do something right here. But see how it sticks over the edge, so I'm gonna be careful not to put glue on that side. So I'm gonna kinda guesstimate where that was hanging over. And now we've got a little ticket. 
that goes along with our little our little lady. Maybe she was going on a trip. Cool beans, right? And then you can stick notes and stuff in here for whomever it is that's going to be getting this book. Okay, now you can leave it like this. You can absolutely leave it like this. You can put a little label on the front with their name, like I said before. Um, if you have the Tim Holtz, the book plate die, you could make a book plate, uh, like a honest to goodness book plate. Another thing you can do, let me grab in my, my bag of tricks here. Where's my tricks? I lost my tricks. Oh, here it is. So I love this lace. You can just go get some lace and you can tea stain it or, or not, it, it doesn't matter. And you could glue this around the edge like a so. You see that? See how pretty that would be and how that would finish that off. And it looks like you spent a lot of time and really it took us, you know, 10 minutes. So um, I'm gonna stop the camera real quick and I'm going to fix this back. I'm gonna, cause there's another sheet of this paper. So unfortunately I've got to, you know, I got to ruin another piece of paper and um, I will be right back. Okay, I fixed it. Is that better? So now it's, it's all covered. So I fixed it. So what we can go ahead and do is we can take that lace and we can lay it here and we're gonna see it should cover all the the black edge all the way around, but kind of peek through, which is kind of stinking cute. So let me kind of measure, guesstimate here. I'll overshoot it because usually when I when I me measure something, it ends up too short or too long. Or so I'm just gonna run some glue. This stuff is really tacky, <laughs> like me, along the edges of this lace because that's where this particular lace has some stability. Other lace, it doesn't make so much difference. And then I'm gonna put a little dot in the middle of these little flowers that doesn't have the netting because the netting, you know, then your glue will soak right through the netting and oh, then there's just problems. It's just problems, problems, problems. So let's take our piece of lace and lay this right here. And then before we tack it down too much, fold it over and make sure it's going to hide the back edge, which it does, like that. And you can futz with it as much as you want. And then we'll trim off the excess once it dries. Okay. And that, that, that ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. And see how pretty that makes a notebook look? Just something that you can give to somebody. If you use a planer paper, you can absolutely add more embellishments to the front. If you, But we've got a pen and ink here, and so that's why I didn't really like add any extra embellishments to the front and the back, because they are already, um, they're already cute. So. I didn't want to. I didn't want to muck it up because I and overdo it, and then you hide all, and then it just looks like a mess because you've covered the pretty whatever pretty pattern. It, there I am out of camera again. I'm sure. Um, we're just gonna trim around the edge. Okay, so cute. So we open it up. We've got a nice big pocket with little things and you could do little metal embellishments if you want to. Um, they stick down really well with like glossy accents and that kind of stuff. And then we turn to the back and we have yet another pocket that we can stick little things in. You can put little notes or whatever it is that you like. Just stick all that kind of stuff in there. So super cute, right? I just keep going the wrong way. I'm so sorry. And you could do a little more stamps down there if you wanted to, but Cute, right? Okay, so super simple embellished journal. Now, <laughs> the mess I have everywhere. This is great, right? Uh, this is why you come to watch. You can come and see me being a hot mess. Okay, so this is the little vinyl journal book here. And so let's see what we can do with this. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
some paper and I, I got this book, it was free. It was in at the recycle yard, but I loved the script on it. I thought the script was really, really pretty. And so let me, let me, uh, there it is. I was gonna say, it's gone, it's gone. I'm gonna cut out one of these pages. Maybe, 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 ooh, two. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip around the edges and it's gonna be all messy and uneven and stuff. Okay, so now we have two and <laughs> make sure, it's just, it's just a good idea to make sure that if you are gonna take apart book pages that it doesn't have like um, bad words or love scenes or something because I can just imagine you making a book like this. Oh, Nick the Booksmith, she showed me how to do this. Grandma's gonna love it. And you give it to Grandma and there's a love scene right on the front page. Oh, that is not a way to make a good impression, guys. Not a good way to make a good impression. So um, I'm just gonna kind of rub some ink all over this to make it look all messy and old and kind of match the brown. And you can use any color of, um, they had black and red and I think blue as well. I just picked the brown, I'm a, I like brown. Okay, so since I lost my lid, I'll set that aside. And then I'm gonna glue this to the front of this book. Okay, here we go. Just kind of place it where you want. I'm just gonna kind of center it on the cover like that, like so. And then I'm gonna put this one on the back side Okay, so let's do the back side as I'm throwing everything around. Okay, right here, kind of in the middle. There we go. No bad words, no sex scenes. Okay, nobody got time for that. Okay, so here we go. And this is a more plain cover and so you can kind of go a little bit more nuts than we went with the other one because the other one kind of already had all that graphic on it and maybe you didn't want to mess up the graphic like we talked about. So here you can absolutely positively play a lot more with um, your ephemera pieces. So you can tilt them and then cut them off down here if you would like and make Cool. You can kind of just set things around and see what they're gonna see what they're gonna look like before you you know before you stick them down forever, and make sure that you don't go too far over the spine so that it doesn't fold nicely. So we could do that, and then here's or here's one with like a little grocery store receipt. So we could do a little grocery store receipt down in here, and maybe do the girls, maybe do some girls behind it. How does that look in the camera? I'm trying to, I'm doing this upside down, so who knows what this looks like? Who knows? But I've got all kinds of mail too, so we could also do mail. And you can leave like this front one open to be a pocket if you wanted to. You could stick the other ones down, but then leave these open as, some of them open as pockets. So let me turn it around my way for just a second, just so I can kind of see what I'm, oh, what I think I'm doing. Oh, nobody knows what I'm doing. So maybe this like this, and these cute little girls here. Well, they're not little, they're, I think they're women. Um, young ladies. And then perhaps, man, I love these pictures, Rebecca. These, they're just the, these are just the coolest pictures ever. I mean, look at that. This is just so awesome. So if you're in the Facebook group for the Booksmith course, if you haven't gone over to get some of these, go get them. They're, they're um, fabulous. They're just fabulous. So maybe more like that and like that. And then like, like so, like, like so. Let's see. I kind of want it. I don't want it like too 
too monkeyed up. Do you like that? You like monkeyed up? Because it's better than the other word. Um, but I still want something. I still want something kind of peeking out. So I like, I, I think I like that. I think I like that. I have some other mail here that maybe is a little bit smaller. No, I just like the dark. I like this one because it's got the dark edges on it. And I'm going to be cutting some of this off um, because I'm going to overlap the edges a little bit. Ink those puppies up. Just ink those puppies up. And get the girls. I want to know, Rebecca, are you related to these ladies? Ah, oh, they're so cool. Okay, oh, that's upside down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this puppy right here. Let's kind of just smather, smather, new word, smather some glue on the back of this. I'm thinking about doing some live streams, guys. Instead of doing this as like a, a video that I, I make and then I, you know, upload it, I'm thinking about doing like a live stream. Of course, there's like less room for error. <laughs> and you all know how I, you know, how I just do everything so perfect and for, you know, right the first time. Oh, I forgot I want to put this behind. Ah, so hurry, hurry and get the glue on it before it dries. No. Okay, because I wanted this one underneath the postcard. See, see how perfect I am? Look at the, just the perfect, just so perfect. So we're just gonna kind of let that hang over and then I'll trim that later. See, why do I put things, like I put this down first? Because I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm just, I'm an idiot. So, um, so there's that. And so now I've got to lift this up because, because I'm an idiot because I don't think things through half the time is half of my problem. I do, I, I'm doing it backwards is my, is my, my thing here. So I'm just gonna peel this up, it's okay. Eat the white. And we're gonna stick those little lettuce down in there just like that. And you don't want them the same height as the, the you know, the, that thing, that, that thing. I'm gonna kinda scoot them out this way. Okay, nothing was left as a pocket, and I, I absolutely, totally just lied. I lied to you. I was going to leave a pocket, and now I'm a liar. So, so there's that. Now, now you know the truth. Now you know the truth. I'm trying to see if there was anything else I wanted to stick, stick down on here. I don't think, I don't think so. I mean, doesn't that look super cute? I want something here, though. Um, I didn't bring enough ephemera. Oh no, there's not enough ephemera. I need something like smaller to go boop. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, so maybe it's not such a good idea that I do live streams. Because <laughs> apparently I'm just not, I'm not good at like having my crap together. <sighs> okay, where is it? Okay, I like this. I like this little ticket down here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, this is a book plate that you could put a book plate down here and the person could write their name on it if they so choose. I just grabbed some little, some little dudes down here. So there's a little needle case and we could do that. How's that? Does that look cute? Let's do that. Let's do that before I decide not to do that. So I'm just gonna kinda stick that together. And then I will glue both of them down. Oh, I like the back, but oh well. Too late now, too late now. Okay, so I will stick these down in this little corner because that, I don't know, it just needed, let me turn it around this way. It just needed like something over here. It looked off, off kilter. So we're just gonna stick that down here so that there's something of interest down here at the bottom. Your bottom always has to have interest. So there we go. Now I'm going to trim off the excess. And if you are better at like measuring than I am, you could totally do this before you stick it down. Um, 
as you know, I, I'm, I'm not so great at that. So I'll just do it afterwards. Then that way there's less room for error in that, in that arena. So look how cute the front of this, of this is. Now, if, if I wasn't a liar, and I did what I told you I was gonna do, I was gonna leave this as a pocket right here, this this front one as a pocket. Um, apparently, I don't have the forethought enough to do that because I glued it down first, so yeah. So here is the back. Um, you don't have to do anything to the back, or you could just do something like really, really, really super duper simple, like like just put one little, um, one little interest piece this is a um, little front of a needle case. I don't even remember where, I got these at Tuesday morning like a year ago. They're, they were like little ephemera kits and I can't even remember, they don't have them anymore. I can't remember, um, I can't remember what brand they are, but you'll have your own ephemera. So, just, just a little piece. And then if you wanted to, in order to, um, keep this paper a little bit safer, I would take a clear matte acrylic spray, which is clear matte spray paint is, is what that is. And you could coat this. Just put a quick little spritz over the front and the back to keep this um, a little bit safer. Now for the inside, also a absolutely total blank canvas. You can go on to do basically the same exact thing that we did on this puppy, and you can do it on the inside of this guy. So like here is, um, this is from my Broken China kit and you can kind of measure that, and I need to take off that much <laughs> right there, that that much, that that much right, like right there. Like how precise, where is my scissor? Oh, right here. Oh my goodness, people. I'm usually not this much, of, okay, I am this much of a spaz, let's just be honest. You guys know, you know me by now, after, you know, two years and 200 videos. Y'all know, I can't hide anything from you guys. So that can go right there. And then um, what you can do is you could stick a piece of washi tape here if you wanted to. Or if you made it wide enough, which I just cut it so it's not wide enough. Um, if you had a piece that would stretch across the whole inside piece, wouldn't that be so super cute? So we could totally do that too. We could... Um, we could do that like this, like this, like that. And if I glued it, went ahead and glued it down, then I could trim it in the back, huh? Because we all know I'm not gonna cut it right. So let's do that real quick. Um, just for, oh, don't do it too low, Nick. Jeez. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So here we go. I think it would be better if you if you did like a whole piece of paper all the way across the front. But um, this was just kind of something I had in my head when I woke up this morning and I didn't really, um, I'm doing this in front of you. I'm not like, <laughs> I didn't like do this ahead of time to like practice or, cause that's just, that's just not what I do. That's not how I roll. So um, yeah. So let's run some glue. on this side. Okay. So the edges are more important than the middle. They say that about pizza too. If you're making pizza, they said the edges are more important than the middle. The middle will take care of itself. That's like an old Italian saying that um, the middle um, will take care of itself. Just make sure the edges are good. Okay, so so see, then you can open it up. And man, it's white on white too. Yeah! And you can trim it down like, like so. And then take your little doogee hunky and just cut that off. And then, and then you can squirt some glue under the edge where um, you totally failed. So there's that. And then, <laughs> I keep saying that, you could take some washi, 
something that kind of matches like this is like little music music paper music paper and I am going to just hide the edges because I obviously didn't cut it so see even if even if you like mess something up you can always you can always fix it with washi tape <laughs> right just fix it with washi tape just cut that down and there's there's that and it kind of kind of looks super cute so let's just fold this in I like so there we go and then I'll trim off the excess just kind of run your fingernails in there or a lack of fingernails because that's that's what I have is a lack of fingernails it's not that I can't grow them I just I don't like them they bug me okay not on other people they they bug me on me I, I don't care if they're on other people I think they're beautiful but I just don't I don't like them on me so you open that up oh, and look how pretty oh, look how pretty and then you could take another um, digi page from your digi library that I'm sure um, some of you probably have digi libraries where you've bought here I go messing with it where you've bought all kinds of digi pages off of graphic artists on Etsy and you can doll up a notebook and then whomever gets this notebook knows that you spent some time and love and you thought of them. So there's the back. And then I will do the same to this side, but I won't bore you to tears. But look how pretty that is. You can also continue to do pockets right here if you would like. You can leave it if you like the images that you use or if you use book pages because Guys, there, you know how many pages are in this book? Like I can go forever with book pages. So you can even cut down book pages. Even if you don't have any digi kits, you don't have any um, like paper packs that you wanna use. Just if you have a book that's falling apart or a book that you've already been using in your stash for book page crafts, just cut those puppies out and glue them in. And how beautiful would that be just to have inside to have book pages when you open it up in the back. And then you could you could totally add pockets with um, little pieces of ephemera like this to have cute little pockets in the back and, in, and then in the front. And then you're not covering up the cute birdie that I've already put on the graphic. All right, guys, well, uh, you like my mess? Do you love this? Isn't this great? I really have to go. My parents are coming over for dinner tonight and they're bringing some friends of ours that have driven all the way here from Indiana. So I, I really gotta go because um, I gotta vacuum because it kind of looks like hobos live here if I don't vacuum. I have a white cat, so I have to vacuum all the time. So I am gonna let you go, but um, I hope you had fun with me today taking just store-bought notebooks and making them look a little bit extra special. Um, you can use family photos if you have your own family photos. Just doll them up and, and theme them to whomever you're going to be giving them to. Even an 88 cent notebook can be turned into something kind of super cute. Kind of super cute, guys. And um, send it away with the one you love so they have something to write in when they get to where they're going or whatever it is they're doing in life. Okay, I love you guys so, so much. I am um, working on a video. It's what I call my proud mama video. So all of the ones that have taken the Booksmith course, um, wow, you guys have blown me away. Like, I knew you'd be good. Yeah, you know, I, I knew because I know I know my people. You you guys are talented anyway. You don't need me to be talented. Absolutely not. But there, you students that have taken this course have absolutely gone above and beyond what I ever taught. <laughs> you've taken this and you've run with it, and that it just makes me so happy. And so there are a lot, and you guys have done a lot of work. And so I have to get everything down so I can do a video to showcase what you guys are doing. I have links in the description box so people can see what you are doing. Um, yeah, so that's it's going to take me a minute. I thought it wouldn't, and then I got in there. And I was like, holy cow, this is going to take me a minute. This isn't going to be an afternoon thing. So. Okay, so I am working on that, and I am also, in the very next video, I will be giving away the little planner I made last week in the Booksmith Planner Kit video. So, you still have maybe a day or two 
maybe this weekend. It is Friday. It is September 30th. You probably have this weekend to go ahead and put your name down in the description box if you would like to win that planner. And um, I will be drawing probably by Monday. Okay, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching me be a hot mess. And um, you too can be a hot mess. You too. Just watch this video. You can be a hot mess. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.